The test has so far generated over 1,500 pieces of track trackable orbitable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller orbital, orbital debris that now threaten the interests of all nations. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. The United States will work with our allies and partners to respond to Russia's irresponsible act. NATO reiterated U.S.'s concerns over space debris. NATO Chief Jen Stoltenberg said that was also concerning because it shows that Russia has been building new age weapons. And uh, Belarus, uh, Ukraine, but also... <coughs> Good afternoon. We have been informed by uh, the United States uh, on uh, the... Uh, Russian uh, anti-satellite uh, uh, test uh, that actually destroyed uh, a satellite um, as part of a uh, test and uh, this has created a lot of debris uh, which uh, is now a risk uh, to uh, the International Space Station, also to the Chinese Space uh, Station. So this was a reckless act uh, by Russia to actually uh, shoot down and destroy a satellite as part of a test of an anti-satellite uh, weapon system. NASA Administrator Bill Nilsson also said that he was outraged by Russia's carelessness. He said, I'm quoting here, with its long installed history in human spaceflight, it is unthinkable that Russia would endanger not only the American international partner astronauts on the ISS, but also their own cosmonauts. On the 15th of November, Russia tested an anti-satellite missile. This targeted one of its own satellites in space. It was a 1982 Soviet Signals Intelligence satellite. Has not been operational since many decades now. But the test led to a huge cloud of debris. Close to 1,500 pieces of waste are currently floating in the space due to the strike. Washington and NASA were furious with Moscow over this test. They say debris is causing a direct risk to the astronauts aboard the ISS. Right after the test, the crew aboard the space station, they were awakened, asked to close the hatches. Currently, four Americans, German, two Russians are part of the crew. They were all asked to take shelter in their return ships. This is also known as the safe haven alarm procedure, where astronauts are trained to resort to this procedure only in the event of an emergency that might force evacuation. NASA says that the ISS continues to pass near or through the debris cloud every 90 minutes. Experts say that it could take up to 10 years before this cloud clears up completely. Now, meanwhile, Russia has denied allegations that it threatened peaceful use of space. Earlier, Russia's space agency said that the main priority is a safety for all crew members in the International Space Station. Как вы правильно сказали, фактов никаких нет. Соединенные Штаты призывают, как они выражаются, разработать универсальные нормы для освоения космического пространства. Но почему-то при этом уже многие годы игнорируют инициативу России и Китая о подготовке договора о предотвращении гонки вооружений в космическом пространстве. Просто игнорируют, настаивая на вот разработке, как я сказал, каких-то правил универсальных норм поведения. Но при этом сами Соединенные Штаты эту гонку вооружений развивают самым активным образом. Now, anti-satellite weapons are high-tech missiles possessed by only a few nations. India carried out a similar operation in 2019. The United States shot down a satellite in 2008 and China also carried out a similar test in 2007. have a satellite in orbit it's traveling at 17,000 miles an hour so 25 or so thousand kilometers an hour and it's uh, if you destroy that satellite suddenly you've got thousands of pieces of shrapnel that are also going at that incredible speed in all different directions 
and uh, the space station traveling at a similar speed, uh, if it gets hit by one of these pieces, that would puncture the uh, cabins of the space station, uh, the, uh, potentially killing the astronauts. Uh, and so it's the, it's the incredible speeds in space that uh, make it so dangerous. Uh, there's already a lot of junk in space. We're tracking 23,000 different uh, pieces orbiting the Earth, of which about 5,000 are working satellites and the rest is junk. Uh, but what was bad yesterday was that when, when you destroy this satellite, there's a lot of debris in a small region. And you don't know the individual orbits of the pieces, uh, so there's a lot of uncertainty. And this thing happened in a region of space that the International Space Station passes through every 93 minutes as it goes around the Earth. And so yesterday, every 93 minutes, uh, the uh, astronauts had to kind of hunker down and, and hope that they weren't going to...